Health Watch is presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. Here, caring for you. What is pelvic floor dysfunction and what causes it? We use it kind of as a blanket term to cover prolapse, which is when the organs, um, such as the bladder and the uterus or the top of the vagina or the rectum can be falling into the vagina um, and cause symptoms of pressure um, and discomfort or sexual dysfunction or trouble holding your urine or difficulty with defecation or trouble holding the stool. One of the major risk factors is childbearing. As you can imagine, a baby's head, which is about this big, coming through a small orifice, um, can wreak havoc on the pelvic floor. It is true that pelvic floor dysfunction is more common as we get older. Um, and one in three women might be affected in their lifetimes. But Women at, in their 30s and even 20s can um, end up coming to the um, coming in with these problems. Are there any non-surgical options people can do to prevent PFDs? Doing Kegel exercises, especially after childbearing, when the the insult has happened, that's when the damage is done often, um, can go a long way to uh, preventing these problems. If someone is concerned, should they seek their primary care physician or should they seek out a specialist? Talking with your primary care um, physician is a way to start, um, but a lot of primary care physicians are now aware that there are specialists that do this all day every day and they have the tools um, in our pockets to manage these things appropriately. Mm -hmm.